Welcome back to another video. Uh, in the last video, I said I had something coming that was quite exciting, and here it is. It's a Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer. This just got delivered, it's still sealed. So we'll unbox this guy. Uh, for now, I'll put it on this table over here. Uh, there's also potentially that chest over there that we can put it on. Uh, I don't really have room for it. I really didn't think through where to put this thing. So for temporary space, we'll just put it here. Uh, hook everything up and see how it works. I'll put some cardboard down to protect the glass, but yeah, let's unbox this guy, get it set up, turned on, and I'll bring my laptop down to do some like first time startup. All right, we're slowly setting this guy up. I uh, got it unboxed. It's a pretty nice size. Uh, basically, you just remove the insides and you remove the three screws that are marked with orange. Take out all the cardboard. There's some zip ties here you take out. And then on the back, I had to install the spool holder. Uh, LCD and screen install. Everything is written out super clearly on here. And now we are downloading the app and we're going to get a first start hopefully and get everything hooked up to our Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. So hopefully like 10, 15 more minutes, we'll be able to do a print and see how it works. All right, got it hooked up to Wi-Fi and it is now doing its self-testing. I had to remove these two pieces of styrofoam once the bed moved, but so far it's doing its little test. I'm not sure how long this will take, but I will update you guys when that's all done. All right, self-test is complete. Enjoy printing. Finish. Um, sure. All right, so <clears throat> well, I guess we'll update as well. I will probably try to get a new screen eventually. There's a uh, panda screen. I forget the, the full name. I'll have that linked in the description for a screen. It's a bigger like LCD refined screen. It looks a lot better than this. More like the A1 model, but uh, I do have some filament in here that came with the printer. I will eventually start feeding this guy in and try to get it hooked up. And I'm not sure... It looks like there is a printer head in here. So it should print because in we got extra tubing for the like filament to go through. They gave you a bunch of extra lubricant. Uh, spool holder, screws. There was two in here. I already took this out and replaced them. There's a bunch of extra whatever these parts are. I assume this is... Is this called the hot head, maybe, or just the head, the printer head? For hot end, so I assume more, more parts for this piece. Uh, this is for the extruder. Again, I'm not too familiar with all these terms. For printed phone holder. Interesting. And then, or scraper, so I guess there's a scraper in here, but that's everything that came in the box. It also came with two Allen wrenches as well, so I assume these are just, they give you one set of extra pieces, so that's nice of them. And it did come with Allen wrenches, two different sets, like a really tiny one and a big one. Here is the smaller one, and then that's the bigger one right next to it. They're very clearly marked which ones to use, and then these were the three screws that held in the plate. So we got a correct update. Shows the firmware 1.05.02. 1, 1 Select the down arrow, and that. Heat the nozzle to the recommended temperature. That's the little arrow that they were talking about. So we'll select that. So 
select this. And we'll plus. We'll do 200. That's right in between. Oh, there it is. It's heating up. Okay. Then select that again in E until the filament comes out from the nozzle and cannot be pulled out from the PTO2 anchor manually. Oh, I see E. Okay, I, I, I found the E. It's, <laughs> it's not the feeding thing. It's this and the E here. There we go. Okay, so you don't actually f feel anything. So I pressed it a bunch of times and... I can no longer pull it out so then it says to go to the folder and look for a file to print there is one called 3d Benchy or oh, here it is which is the little uh, boat which is on which is this little guy I'm sure you've seen that a bunch but so it just says we'll pick that print and hope for the best and we'll see if it actually starts at all. Oh, it's doing the poop thing. So it's purging a bunch of filament, which eventually it will shoot out the back. I believe it's this port, or potentially uh, this one here. It'll poop out filament. So people will 3D print little uh, poop shoots that kind of wrap around and catches all the filament that it throws out. It'll just throw it out the back onto the floor. Uh, welcome back. It's doing a thing. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. I assume this is kind of like first time print setup. It's, um, yeah, just doing its own thing. Sorry for the, all the glare, but I assume it's just testing the bed height potentially and doing its own little calibration. All right, it's finally doing a print. This is the benchy little boat that I showed you guys. Not too sure why this is at 220, even though I set it lower. But I mean, we'll see if I can change it to 200, maybe. It might not even let me. Oh, nope, it did change, so we'll see. So it's a bit, it's definitely a bit shaky, especially when it moves back and forth so fast. I'm glad it's finally printing. It's a tad noisy, I would say. It is super quiet in this room, so I can hear the fan going and all the little movements and stuff so maybe once we put this somewhere else not in the living room that it won't be as noisy but for now it'll stay here i wanted to maybe potentially move it in a different room all right after some messing around and way over the time it takes to print stuff we got ourselves a little mini ship and uh breaks right off So, well, this is the print quality that came out, uh, stock settings, I did not change anything, I just started the printer, hit print, pretty, pretty, pretty good, I'm sure these lines could be fixed at some point, and even this line here, but I'd say it came out quite good for being a very first print with exactly zero setup so what we're going to do now is i have already some free uh, prints that i wanted to do and one of them is a gengar so i already have that used barely any spool so i already have a gengar that i want to print i have bamboo studio installed where i have support uh like tree supports and slim set up it says the print time is about an hour and 11 minutes so we're gonna send that guy and hopefully it prints all right here's the gengar that i have um wow it's uh, very slow right now what is going on anyway here's the gengar there's some tree supports i just did tree auto slim uh damn distance four and diameter I just did one so it'll print a good amount of trees but 
I think that's best since you can't print in thin air. And then it says approximate total time is an hour, 11 minutes. So I already sliced it, so now we'll hit print. I'll try to see if it shows the support here at all, if that's even possible, but. All right, I decided to just send it as is. I just hit print plate up here and it previewed without the supports like so. And then I hit print and it already jumped to the device page automatically and it's about 55 minutes remaining. I'm not sure if the camera will be good at all, but it's there. It's not the best quality camera, but uh, yeah, we'll just go downstairs and look at what it's doing. All right, we are downstairs now, and so far it is not doing anything, so we'll see what happens, but... Oh, there it goes. There's a... There's a little poop. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so... It just, uh, prints out a little spool. I'm not sure if this is in general, or if this was from the previous print, but... That's quite a lot of print IMO to just kind of uh, throw away, I suppose. I mean, seems like a lot. All right, we are printing a Gengar with the supports that I showed in the previous clip. Uh, yeah, so I guess these are just the, the support branches and then I assume eventually it'll kind of just go into Gengar, looking Gengar, so we'll see. Approximate time left is about 48 minutes. So we'll see what happens. We'll come back to it all done and hopefully it came out good. Alright, alright, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> We got about nine minutes left on this Gengar print here. So far, so good. Supports look like they are holding up pretty well. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, wow, where's the finger? How the feet come off of the support. But so far, so good. It's doing some some good good work. Looks like everything printed okay, or is printing okay. I should have used the purple filament for this, but... Which I do have, actually. I have, uh, some eSun brand filament. It is one kilogram, it's PLA plus. So I'll have to potentially probably not change the settings. It's right in the middle. Maybe I'll do 215. Bed temp, no heat, 60, okay. Good to know. This is one kilogram. This was around $23 on Amazon. It is purple, as you can see. So once I run out of this filament, which will probably take me a good bit, I will then attempt to print something bigger once this guy's done. Oh yeah, also, here's all the uh, new poops that came that finally fell out. So this seems like a crazy amount of filament for printing a tiny ship and a Gengar, but yeah, so far I love this printer and I can't wait to just mess around with this and show you all the cool stuff I print, so I will uh, see you guys in the next video.